Hello beautiful Geminis, how are you today? We are here to do a love reading for Gemini, Sun, the Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you for stopping by, hope everyone's well. Okay, the hanged man. Well, you're hanging around waiting for something, but you're not stressed out. You're kind of enjoying the view from up above. Okay, the Fool card says, this came out reversed, the Fool card says that you see everything that's going on. You have supervision right now. When the Fool card is upright, it basically says that you're ready to manifest something and that you don't really know what the risks are, but in the reverse, you see the big picture. So Gemini, that is your current energy. You're just sort of sitting back, taking your time, looking and seeing what's happening in your life. Okay, so how you view the future. Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning. You want a lot of passion. You are looking for a fire sign. Uh, and you want a new beginning, you know? It's time. Gemini, look at this. The way you are viewed and being viewed at this time by other people is Four of Pentacles. You have yourself behind this tidy little gate and you are not letting anybody in and you're not stepping out at the current time. So, you know, you're very peaceful, you're very content, you're just sort of saying, until something really sparks my fancy, I'm not going to do anything. Other people around you, look out, there is a snake, oof. Okay, so there is someone who has their eyes on you right now who doesn't have the best motives for your highest and best good. We have someone who has been around you. I think you know who this is. I think it's why you're not taking any action. Uh, it's why you're not going to take a move towards this person as you feel as though you can't trust them. The Seven of Swords says that in their heart space, they have some desire to take something. They're presenting themselves very falsely because, as you can see, that's all flowers and it's a snake. Covering up a snake, okay? Stealing eggs. So, not fond of this card. Okay. So, how you view your future. The Four of Wands. You are looking for stability, for, um, you know, this is a honeymoon card. It's a marriage card. It really says that you are looking for a relationship of value. We will clarify everything, of course, with a table shot for you. Currently, what's hidden, what you're not showing anyone, is that you are beating the drum of passion. The season of Leo is upon us. We have Venus and Mars and Leo in the next few days, and you are out there. You're going to get yourself out there. You're really, you're, you're just burning up with passion, with fun. It's time to kick it. It's time to hang loose, enjoy yourself, and you're willing to take your chances. What is Spirit recommending for you right now in the area of love for our Gemini friends? The Four of Cups says, you know, don't cry. Don't cry for me, Argentina was a song. Don't cry for me, love, you already have love. Four of Cups actually says that you have people around you who are interested, but you're not interested in them, so you're feeling kind of like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> It's okay, it happens to all of us, right? <laughs> like, yeah, that guy over there wants to go out with me, or that girl wants to go out with me. I don't think so. <laughs> but you're polite, you know. It's, but it does say that you're feeling a little bit down in the dumps, maybe. Like, you know, when is it ever going to stop raining? Doesn't it always stop raining? All right. Oh, look at this. A strength card. Leo energy. A lot of Leo energy here. There may be a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus coming your way, beating the drum for you. You might see this could be another secret attraction towards you. But... You know what, Gemini? I think that you know everything that's going on. So let's go ahead and give you the table shot. And we will clarify these cards. Now, let's see if we can get this up here a little bit. Okay, there we go. So let's see. Why do we have you in the hanged position? Why is a hanged position here for our beautiful gems? Okay, Aquarius energy. You're just very serene right now. This is Pisces and Aquarius. You're feeling very good. You're hanging out. You're looking at things from a different perspective. You're very sort of very zen. Very zen. You're aloof. You're not highly available to people. You're not very talkative. You know, you're, you're intellectualizing your viewpoint of what's gone on in the recent past. 
and what's going on currently. So why is the Fool card here for you? Ah, the Hermit card, interesting, Virgo energy. So we're looking at uh, Virgo energy, Aquarius energy. So you know what, you do not really, you're not ready for a new beginning right now. That's what I'm seeing. Right now you're just sort of status quo, you know, taking it a day at a time. You have a plan because we have this King of Wands here. What is the Ace of Wands? What is the action you're likely to take or someone is likely to take towards you that's going to be passionate? Wow, okay. Somebody's going to leave another relationship behind, okay? So it does look like somebody's leaving another relationship to walk towards you, okay? You know, if we put this here, you know, it's almost like the walk, person is walking towards you. So it does look like somebody's coming towards you, but it also looks like this person who has left somebody else behind has that Seven of Swords energy. So you're not necessarily trusting the situation. Why do we have the Four of Pentacles? The Seven of Pentacles. So you're invested. You're just not showing it. You're not putting, you're basically playing your po poker hand close to the vest, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Mercury's not retrograde any longer, but I'm stumbling. What is a snake card? Four of Pentacles. Okay, Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to your purse, quite literally. It looks as though for many of you, somebody, a partner, somebody you know very well may have asked you for money. Let's see if we get more on this. Tell us more about that. Four of Coins, why do you need to really hang on to your purse? Now, this would also speak to me of the scams that I hear about online for internet dating. It looks as though you should be very wary. Okay? You should not give anybody your pocketbook or access to your money. Or private information. Page of coins. Yet yeah, this person is after coins. This person is very much after coins. But you know, it's a snake in flowers, dressed in flowers. The full card, remember, was reversed. I should put it reversed in the reading. So it says that you're not going to have a new beginning, um, at least with this person. Okay. So let's look and see. Why do we have the Four of Wands here? Because I do get you having a new beginning for the future, just not with the snaky person. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, there we've got the Fool card upright, the way it's supposed to be, taking the leap of faith. Oh, gorgeous energy. Wow. Gemini, this is beautiful. Look at this. I wish this were my reading, although I am a Gemini, so it could be. So I'm getting Aquarius energy twice. This is hopes and dreams for love coming true. This is you absolutely having a manifestation. Maybe a Virgo will be involved in your life or a, a you know, these are both Virgo energy. So you may be dealing with an earth sign energy that's coming into your life that's going to be stability. This is a potential marriage. This is really you taking the leap of faith with somebody who goes slowly, who is trustworthy, who you, you have some real knowledge of this person. So this looks as though this is really beautiful energy. It speaks so much to success and love and a new manifestation for you. Really gorgeous, really gorgeous. The star card is being beautiful inside, spiritually and out, but it is truly the meaning of the card is your hopes and dreams for love come true. You could be dealing with someone who is in entertainment. Uh, you could also be dealing with somebody who is a financial person who makes money grow, okay? Because we have the magician, so we have expansion, you know, something gets bigger with the magician and somebody who works their magic with their financial offering. So I would also say as a cautionary note, if you're looking for a financial advisor, be very careful because there is a snake in the grass here. So be careful. It looks like you'll get the right person, but make sure you vet them. All right. So the king of wands here is you really do have fire in your belly for a traditional relationship. You know, you want somebody who shares your values and it looks as though you're meeting that person. Look at this. The three of wands has come in. Your ship has arrived in the harbor. 
take heart. It's not still raining, Gemini. <laughs> I think some of you had a bad go of it recently, and I feel as though there's some residual depression, fear, you know, that sort of thing in your energy, but you are studying the situation very carefully. You're trying to vet people online, too, before you get very involved with them, so that might be the thing that I'm talking about is things like those search engines where you can look people up and see if they have a criminal record, that's what I mean. So you are spying, but you're spying very specifically. If people, before you would become really intimate or let someone in your life, it looks like you're doing that. Some of you, not all of you, obviously. The strength card, why is it here? Ah, oh, the hanged man. The hanged man is bookending the reading. That is very significant because it really speaks to the fact that you're not taking an action at this time, at this particular time. The Ten of Cups, you're hanging around, you're waiting for someone who's going to come in and really, you're going to have everything with them. The person you're waiting for, let's see if we know who that person is. Let's look at that because I, I don't think, I think this is a new person. I feel as though you know this person, but you don't, you haven't really dated them yet. They're in your periphery. They're in your energy field. As you go out and you spend time socially, I feel like this is new love coming in that will be very reliable. So let's look and see what we have for the Oracle cards. All right, so let's see what the Oracle cards in terms of advice that Spirit has for you at this time. In perfect harmony. Don't stress yourself out. What we're seeing here is Spirit is bringing you the relationship that you want in harmony, in peacefulness. You can just allow the universe to let things unfold. We have the uncharted sea. Oh, beautiful. I feel as though this relationship is opening up in a way that's very different for you. I feel as though for many of the Geminis watching, love has been very tumultuous and very difficult. Look at this. You're in this beautiful energy of manifesting in perfect harmony something brand new for yourself. So beautiful. Okay. Let's see what else we have. What do we have? Why do we have the star card here and the fool and the magician? Why are these cards here? We see the royal you. <laughs> You're going to be walking the red carpet, my friends. All right. The royal you. You're going to be treated like a queen. Oh, my gosh, Gemini. Happily ever after. The Ten of Cups is Pisces energy. It's just pure joy, pure happiness. Why is it here for you at this time? Broken open. You have opened up your heart chakra in the near future. You are about to open yourself to a beautiful love that's brand new and unlike any other love relationship you have ever had, Gemini. Sending you love. Bye-bye. Take care.